think it is clear in terms of the position of the economic freedom of fighters that after our, our careful analysis, we found that uh, for the long that the NC government has been uh, pursuing a wrong economic policy, first it was Gia, it was Asgisa, now they are pursuing a neoliberal policy called the NDP. Now they found that uh, you have actually pursued a program of seeking political freedom and then achieve economic freedom later. But at the end, they found that they actually pursued their own program. The literature has actually shown that uh, you've actually created no decent jobs at all. You've actually created indecent jobs, looking at your statistics that you actually have. Now, chief statistics in South Africa have actually shown that, that we've actually got it from the statistics, your statistics, that uh, it's sitting at about 25.2% in South Africa. That means that you've got over 5 million people without work in our country. And 2 million of those people are actually in, in actually Gauteng, our economic hub. And also as measured by the Gini coefficient, which is the, the measure of the, uh, the gap between the rich and the poor, it is actually very uh, huge. Uh, it means that uh, we are one of the most unequal societies in, in, the, in this world. Uh, what you've done, the, you know, the ruling party, it has actually created what we call an unpatriotic middle class. And we know that those uh, people are very unpatriotic. The only time when jobs were actually created in South Africa, you still remember, was time when the commodity prices were actually high. Maybe it's time that uh, I think one of the members must look, you know, to the east. Let's look at what happened to, happen to China. Because now China has become one of the first economies of the world. It might be a question to actually say, what did they actually do? Because they, their industries are actually, uh, they have a protected industrial uh, <coughs> policy which is actually there. So South Africa is a developing country. So we would must advocate that our industries which are infant must be, must be protected. Since the ruling party took over in 1994, no industrial revolution has occurred. There are the, these are the main production forces that will actually create the, the, the employment. What we have seen is the creation of small projects for bodies which have benefited friends and family through government entities, e.g. GEP. The so-called uh, the, the so jobs, you know, uh, they are created by EBW and I think by the piece of job for comrades and they are not enough. Instead, there is a creation of a dependent state. EFF has asked the question in the economic, you know, the, the development committee from the MEC as to what measures has been used to actually measure if the jobs are enough. No answer. You will not be able to create jobs if you don't own industrial inputs. Government does not own minerals. You, you can't make a car because you don't own Time is up. Honorable Member Talk. Time is up. You asked for four minutes. Oh, thank you. Honorable Member Talk.